what's up there everybody and of course we have a very special announcement just earlier today from the Tokyo Game Show and it's going to involve a collaboration with the company SNK and Capcom. Of course we've seen earlier in the summertime there was a collaboration with Capcom and SNK and they announced that Terry Bogard and Mai would be coming over to Street Fighter now there's been an announcement of a, co a collaboration for SNK and Capcom and the collaboration is going to happen on their end over there. And of course we know that on April 24th the brand new Fatal Fury game is going to be released called City of the Wolves. It's a very very big deal for SNK and for Fatal Fury fans. They had a wonderful booth at EVO that was uh, having playable demo versions of the City of the Wolves game. And we're going to take a look into what coolness is in store for us here. Let's take a look at the reveal video. Very cool. Whoops. Oh, I don't know what happened there. So very cool there. Of course, it does show that we can access it on April 24th on the PlayStation, Xbox, and Steam. Un its uh, engine is the Unreal Engine. And down here it does say SNK and Capcom. So going further into this, it does say, now here is everyone so far, uh, you know, in addition to other characters, they're saying here the base game is going to have seven, 17 characters. And the Season 1 pass is going to have a total of five. And Ken is going to be in the summertime. chun is going to be in the winter and then three other characters to come along for that first season pass. We're going to have two options for Terry's costumes. Uh, Terry's traditional red vest and his tank top there and then the leather jacket and his shorter hair. And then you get early access three days ahead of time uh, for the digital version if you get everything in advance on the 21st. So, what makes this so unbelievable? I mean, besides the fact that it's a crossover and it's fantastic and, you know, it, we've been looking forward to cool things like this, but lore-wise, this is a really, really, really big deal. Because when Terry was announced and his trailers for Street Fighter VI, the amount of Easter eggs and special things that they added in that were Capcom things and SNK things into those trailers was a ton. And not just gaming things, but things regarding the creation of these characters and the people that created these characters and the employees. So if you look at this right here, you see Terry and Mai. Now Terry came out in um, late, well, Fatal Fury came out later in 1991. Then Mai came out in Fatal Fury 2. Chun-Li 
and Ken. Okay, so we're we're gonna go we're gonna go one step at a time. So remember, Fatal Fury one, Fatal Fury two, and then I'm gonna and then I'm gonna show the breakdown of of how this is and how cool it is that they decided to pick these characters to be the forefront of how they're doing this. So Street Fighter came out in 1987. And it was in the arcades. And the characters, there were, you know, a lot of characters. But you could be Ryu or Ken. Right? Now, Ken is blonde. And some of the people working on this game were Takashi Nishiyama and Hiroshi Matsumoto. When they were working on the first Street Fighter, and it's out in 1987, they had an idea for a character that was also blonde, and he was in Street Fighter 1, and his name was Joe. And Joe and Ken were both blonde, right? But Ken had a um, more prominent role and especially in the eyes of Capcom. So did Ryu. When the discussion of Street Fighter 2 came up, the role of Joe really took a bit of a back seat. And the focus was put on Ryu to lead the series. Hiroshi Matsumoto and uh, Takashi Nishiyama then had an offer at SNK. And they went over to SNK and brought the idea, basically an idea of Joe with them. And they went and laid down the groundwork for Fatal Fury. Fatal Fury came out later in the season than Street Fighter Two, um, you know, was out and, and gaining gaining some some steam. They d developed Terry. Now Terry is a build off of Joe, right? And if you looked in the trailers for Street Fighter Six, you could see that they did an Easter egg for that where they had the two guys fighting in front of the building and then really you're supposed to shoot up the building and then it says okay this is Street Fighter 2 on the on the billboard at the very top Ken is sort of the always been even in creation the rival of Joe and Terry always always has been since since 1987, since his very very start, very very first started, these two have always been going at each other. So to have him in here is a very big deal. Then in the game, uh, in the lore, they are a bit of rivals, but they're also a bit of friends. Um, they go back and forth a little bit, and there's been other collaborations, just general Capcom and SNK collaborations, you know, for them too, but. If you go through the story mode in Street Fighter VI, uh, the ending is pretty much all focused on Terry and Ken. And, you know, sort of uplifting each other and everything else. So Ken being one of the first, obviously the first announced character, is very significant. And um, the history is huge. The first... Lady of Fatal Fury is Mai. Now, Mai was also announced for Street Fighter VI, right? But she was in Fatal Fury too. <coughs> She's in Fatal Fury too, And Chun-Li is the first fighting game lady ever. But she was in Street Fighter 2. She was not in Street Fighter 1. She was in Street Fighter 2 in 19, 
91. So these two have roughly similar paths also. Although Chun-Li came out first, Mai was a very close second, and Fatal Fury uh, 2 was out in 92. So she's 92, she's 91, and uh, technically Terry is also 91, and uh, Ken is 1987. So those are the years of what's going on with these characters. And it's, it's a very, very interesting um, uh, situation here of, of how they're doing this because um, of the history, the history behind it. On top of the fact that, you know, they're very recognizable characters, they're cool and they're fun characters, but there's a lot going on in the creation and the storyline of these guys. <clears throat> so, very, very exciting. Nice incentive, Streets of Rage. That's right, yeah, Streets of Rage, uh, beat em up. Yeah, the beat em up game. Fatal Fury, King of Fighters. Absolutely. So that gives a lot to look forward to. And the funny thing is, if you look at this announcement, you could probably just say, hey, well, you know, all right, you know, we're, we're going along here, and it's a lot of, you know, pretty pictures, you know, headshot stills, right? And you're going, well, they're not showing any gameplay or, you know, anything else, but, but that's not the focus. The focus is, I mean, besides the characters that are announced, the focus is, is what's going on behind all this stuff to drive all of it is just unbelievably significant. Yeah, it's a big, it's a big deal. And the fact that um, there has also been on Twitter discussions that this has been basically reviewed and, and planned for years. Years of, of you know, looking at uh, what's the best way to move forward with this and, you know, and how to present it and everything. It's, you know, it's more than just still shots of these characters' faces. There's, there's a big, there's a big uh, picture of what's going on behind this. And it's, it's, uh, it's very, very cool. It's very, 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 very cool. And, um, yeah, and it's very exciting. And it's very exciting, too. I like how with Chun-Li, there is an emphasis of the blue and the yellow there. You know, if you look at Chun-Li's... Well, this is her Street Fighter VI uh, version of her outfit. But, you know, these are C's. On her on her arms here and traditionally there are C's on her on her shoulders you know and around her neck those are C's and they're they're representing Capcom and um, her actual address is that vibrant blue color and gold which are Capcom colors so you know she's really wearing the company publicly Yeah, very, very neat. Very neat how they have this all set up. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And how they're doing all of this. Very cool there. So is there anything anybody wants to, you know, say or, or add to any of this? I think SNK and, and Capcom are doing a great job. Their marketing team is very smart with how they're doing all of this and and tying in so much into the background and the history is just very, very interesting to see. Hey there, what's up, what's up? So 
so that is a lot a lot to look forward to and of course these characters are going to be released as uh, you know the season pass there and then we can play on April 24th extra costumes for Terry and then early access very very neat there super cool super super cool